Hello everyone, I'm Luz van Rensua and I'm a PhD candidate at Eindhoven University of Technology. I'd like to tell you about our exploration of the design space of interactive urban environments and how to trigger physical activity through embedded technology. For many of us, a typical day looked something like this. We spend the majority of our work or school day sitting down and then to relax, we sit some more. This physical inactivity and the resulting health concerns are a big societal challenge and finding effective ways to promote healthy and active lifestyles is therefore an important goal in government, practice and research. But, since this is our daily reality, many places are in fact designed to facilitate this undesired behaviour. At the same time, we also see places that are designed in such a way that they persuade people to move more. Some are so beautiful they invite for a walk, run or bike ride, and others are simply only accessible if you put in the effort. In our research, we focus on this influential power of the environment to encourage physical activity in the public outdoor space and combine it with the potential of integrated human-environment interactions where technology is bedded in the environment. Bringing together active environment design and interactive technology, we refer to these places as interactive environments. We present a scoping exploration that combines the results of a benchmark of existing active environments sketching explorations, and several case studies. This illustrated analysis of the design space of interactive environments is meant to inspire researchers and designers, as well as to pave the way for new designs and applications, optimizing the role of technology to shape meaningful experiences. We started our design space exploration by benchmarking existing interactive environments. We distinguished several categories of designs, public recreational sports environments, temporary high-tech sports facilities, interactive public installations, and active office environments. We note that examples of truly interactive urban environments are somewhat scarce. Urban spaces, and especially public parks, offer a lot of low-tech equipment, with installations often focused on children. High-tech interactive sports installations often appear temporarily, initiated by companies for branding purposes. Finally, Artsy public installations that trigger movement attract a lot of attention from the public and the media, yet they also fail to sustain and scale up. The second part of our design space exploration focused on the ideation and sketches of interactive environments, mostly related to walking and running in the urban space. As this design activity was exploratory in nature, most of these concepts remained at the conceptualization stage. We first can distinguish several interaction modalities used. The most common were auditory and visual feedback. In line with its predominance in the benchmark, light tends to be the first idea coming to the mind of designers. We explored sound in relation to storytelling, mindfulness and music, as well as for motivation and guidance. Haptic feedback is used to augment the experience or bring a fun element to it. Far less common is the use of smell only present in a couple of sketches where the designers force themselves to explore this sense. The last of our five senses, taste, was considered yet remained absent from the collected sketches. Also excluded from our exploration but still worthy to note is that designers of interactive environments can also make use of senses related to the vestibular system such as gravity, movement and balance. The sketch concept make use of various intervention strategies to create a positive experience or to nudge people into moving. The most common explored strategy was the use of fun or gamified elements. These concepts highlight ways to use interactive technology to design playful experiences. Some concepts include challenges in order to stimulate exploration of the environment. Some are inspired by popular games, while others link the activity to charitable causes. Finally, more art-inspired installations can com contribute to the attractiveness of the environment and stimulate people's creativity. This strategy is particularly inclusive to various age ranges, as playful elements might appeal to a wide audience and also trigger social experiences. Since existing gamified outdoor environments are typically targeting children, there is an interest in designing interventions beyond this target group. A limitation of these installations can be a novelty effect, fading over time. Besides leisure use, a number of sketches used competitive or performance-related elements. These concepts sometimes require additional inputs, such as data from smartwatches or exercising apps, 
especially when the users wish to set personal goals or keep track of their progress over time. Exploring these options led to discussions about the benefits of personalization of these experiences and which forms of personalization could be suitable for the design of interactive environments, where the installations are public and shared and typically don't have access to personal data of its users. Despite a focus on individual activities, our explorations also include sketches linked to social support. This is mostly done through a virtual representation of a supportive crowd or messages, messages from fellow exercisers. Some of the sketches covered aspects of convenience meant to overcome the obstacles related to outdoor activity, such as the weather. Starting from the reward versus punishment principle, some concepts adopted a more provocative design perspective, stimulating active behavior by shocking, shaming or troublemaking. Following a research through design process, we prototyped a selection of these concepts, each representing a different design strategy, and deployed them during field tests. Guided by Lights is a LED path combined with a live speed indicator that supports runners or walkers to set personal goals and gain intrinsic motivation to be physically active. The design focuses on aspects that positively impact motivation and or performance, such as personalization, goal setting and feedback mechanisms. An initial evaluation of a prototype placed in three public parks showed that participants appreciated the personalization of the route and its goal setting opportunities. But the visual light feedback was hard to perceive during daytime. While embodying a form of personalization, the use of the system remained anonymous, which offers advantages to onboard any user in the park without needing an additional system. DiscoF is a network of physical waypoints that triggers to explore its surroundings in a fun and challenging way by creating an engaging walking experience. Through its explorative nature, DiscoF encourages users to lengthen their walk or return later to discover more. Additionally, the design increases mindfulness as it distracts people from their day-to-day -day worries by drawing their attention to their current surroundings. First user tests showed that some ambiguity in the design inspires first curiosity which adds to the desire and the explore to find out, and then satisfaction. This both lengthens and enhances the interaction. A good balance between obvious interactions and hidden aspects can trigger interest and exploration and helps to engage users over a longer time. Sensation is a sonified running track that enriches the experience of running by providing sensations of nature through audio feedback. It detects footsteps on its surface matching them to sounds of various nature settings. The natural sounds improve the sonic landscape and support feelings of relaxation and mindfulness during a run. An initial user test showed that receiving the audio feedback through headphones was perceived as artificial and created a disconnection from the physical environment. But locating the speakers close to the foot adds to the natural feel. Further user exploration showed that the design could attract children and families in search of playful environments or even bring people from outside to the park. The Crowdsourced Marathon is a futuristic marathon experience focused on strengthening the relation between the crowd and the runners by visualizing the crowd's cheering activity. The popularity of social platforms among recreational runners indicates a need for social support about one's achievements. Transferring the cheering wave to this context and enabling friends to cheer you on during a running session may therefore trigger a meaningful social experience. In this exploration, we analyzed benchmarked objects, exploratory sketches, and design cases of interactive environments, and we propose an initial classification of their design space. From the classification matrix, we see opportunities to explore the richness of interaction modalities beyond the common light feedback. Many of the explored concepts involve a network of modular elements, which enable more integrated, holistic solutions for a harmonized experience, unconstrained by the scale of the urban public space. With their technology embedded in the physical environment, interactive environments have the potential to reach everyone in their vicinity without any prior investment required from the user. This makes these interventions much more accessible than many other available technologies to increase physical activity, including even the hard to reach group of people who are not consciously trying to change their inactive routines. Future work could revolve around using the potential of technology to personalize these interactions and defining adjusted and more interdisciplinary approaches 
to design truly interactive environments.